everyone welcome back to my channel I am driving right now I've never done this for so long but for today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys or taking you guys to a tattoo clinic yes I am getting my first tattoo and this will be fun I'm gonna be I'm sure I'm gonna be crying I'm gonna be hurting I'm gonna be probably laughing at the same time about myself you know like getting all this tattoo because I know it's gonna be painful I took two Tylenols already so you know like just to get myself ready for that so I'm getting a tattoo on my buttocks my butt cheeks and some of my part of my thighs because I have this stretch marks and as you guys know I am a mother but some of you doesn't know that I was at 85 95 pounds before pregnancy and when I got pregnant all this skin stretched so bad because I got into 160 pounds and so my you know my skin stretch and I'm not one of those lucky women that you know didn't have stretch marks my sister is bigger than me she got pregnant and she didn't have stretch marks just like my mom but you know like they're lucky I, I am not that lucky don't get me wrong I love my body I love being a mom it's just I'm a little, a little bit uncomfortable having all these stretch marks because as you guys know I go to modeling I you know like I wear well most of the um, the gigs that I got into I had to wear swimsuit so I am thinking of something like to cover it up because sometimes the makeup is not working for me sometimes it goes you know like it oxidizes and then you, the next thing you know like I have some patches on my butt so this is something like a great opportunity that was given to me so why not do it I know some of you guys are not comfortable with their body with their stretch marks they don't like it and maybe you know like some of the scars and this is something like this is something new that we could do about those stretch marks and I am so glad so happy to give you guys my experience and yeah I just want to show you guys I just want to you know like show you how it feels like how, you know what I'm gonna think about it and or what I think about it what I think about myself just you know like I just want to share my life to you guys as you guys know all know not just you know like makeup so yeah I am driving right now and I'm going to Gilbert to get this done um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like a long you know like session and later on we're gonna meet my tattoo artist and I'm super excited for this I bet she is too so yeah how I feel about this um, I'm excited and also scared so um, well I'm scared that you know like what if my scar will go bad what if I get infection um, what if I get um, you know those scars the keloid well I'm not a keloid former that's what I know my surgery are pretty you know like healing pretty good because I, I have like you know like six months on that surgery that I just recently had and so yeah I'm a little bit scared yes well I am anticipating and a little bit scared about how I'm gonna sit down how I'm gonna be laying down how I'm gonna walk I don't know how it feels I don't um, you know I never watch anyone did this or you know maybe somebody vlog it or something on YouTube so this is like I want it raw for me you know I want to see how I really react about this and how I feel so you know like I'm, I am scared for my own experience but I am also excited to share to you guys because I know this video will be able to help other women other people you know like if they have you know like some uncomfortable you know like they feel uncomfortable about their um, stretch marks or scars so yeah I am excited for that and yeah I, I, that's just you know like my fears and like I said that's how I feel about it so like I said I took Tylenol already just to make myself you know like ready and a little bit you know like painless I don't know but I'm pretty sure she's gonna put some numbing cream on my butt and also I brought my setup my umbrella because I know her salon is pretty good it's pretty lit I mean 
you know, it's bright in there and I'm just, you know, I, I just want to make sure that I come ready. And also I have my six footer um, charger for my phone just in case I will get bored and just, you know, you know, like to divert my attention from the pain to something else. And maybe I will also put, um, you know, like a live camera or maybe like a, some clips um, on my Instagram. So come join me guys. Okay, so everyone, we're here at um, Miss Jade's clinic. She is going to introduce herself first. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Hernandez and I'm a camouflage tattoo artist here in Arizona. Um, and this is my studio called Studio Scalp. Uh, where we help um, women camouflage either hair loss, stretch marks, or scars. Yes, so it's in Gilbert. I'm going to be putting the link for you guys and her Instagram. I'll be putting it out for you guys on the description box. So yeah, I am totally scared right now because <laughs> I know like it's going to be painful. It's going to be on my skin and it's needles. I hate needles. I hate, hate needles. I'm super scared. So. You're in good hands, don't worry. Okay. Um, it, I would say it's not as bad as giving mm -hmm. birth, and so that's a good thing. Yes, because I gave birth. I told you guys before that I gave birth without epidural, but still, I'm scared. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. And I just want to make sure that you use um, new, fresh, new needles. Correct. And yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, um, with every client, we use disposable needles that have never been opened, and so it's one-time use. After we're done, we throw it away, um, so I could show you that as well. How long will it heal, like, for me? Um, so with any of the stretch mark and scar camouflage that we do, it takes 60 days for it to fully heal, and so during that healing process, um, the area will change, mm -hmm. and so immediately after our session today, it's going to be really red and inflamed. Mm -hmm. I always like to say your stretch marks are really angry because that's what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then um, 24 hours, so tomorrow the redness will begin to subside. Mm -hmm. The swelling will definitely be gone, mm -hmm. and then it turns, you know, from red to pink to a darker pigment to a lighter pigment. Mm -hmm. um, but really, it takes 60 full days for the entire procedure to heal and for the intended color to reveal itself because mm -hmm. literally what I'm doing is just depositing the ink pigment into the skin mm -hmm. and a stretch mark is a scar and so it reacts a little bit differently than if you were to get a normal tattoo mm -hmm. um, so that's why it takes a little bit longer for it to heal and it just is a different healing process and okay. um, so yeah 60 days with a little bit of time and patience it'll be well worth it yeah I'll be patient but um, am I gonna be able to sit down later yes like right after yeah so really this is a non-invasive procedure okay. and so there's little to zero downtime. Um, tonight, the only thing you can't do is shower. So okay. after the procedure is done, I'll be applying aquaphor on her wound area. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so you can't shower tonight, but you can shower first thing tomorrow. Okay. And you can't work out for a week. Okay. Um, you can't tan, no jacuzzis, no swimming pools. Okay. Um, but other than that, after a week, you can resume to like normal activities. Um, on a scale one to 10, mm -hmm. I've been told that the day after it is like a two. It okay. just feels kind of tender, like you mm -hmm. got a sunburn, mm -hmm. um, but okay. there really should be no pain. Okay, so um, she told me, she emailed me before that I don't need, uh, what is that? I, I shouldn't be drinking, which I don't drink and I have to scrub off that dead cells which I did last night and this morning too so I am pretty good with that and so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm ready I guess yeah so. and you don't have any lotion on no right I do not put lotion okay, no oil so it's perfect. just like all like like I don't know like right. ugh. And then we also recommend that you don't tan because what I'm really doing is matching her her natural skin tone. Mm -hmm. um, and so obviously this is your natural skin tone, mm -hmm. so you're all set to go. Yeah. Oh, one more thing. Um, after this uh, procedure, can I spray those um, topical lidocaine? Because I know it's over the counter. Can I put like cream so I, it's going to be numb? I know you said it's going to be like two just in case, you know, I can't bear it. Is it okay to spray? Talk so i rather not. I, um, I don't want to interfere with the ink pigment at all, and so that's why we don't numb the skin beforehand either. Um, but you can take <laughs> Tylenol. You can okay. take Tylenol. <laughs> Which I took earlier right. already. And, so. Um, yeah, so nothing actually directly on the skin. 
Oh my gosh, I thought she's gonna put nothing <laughs> on me. <laughs> but um, yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, pray you'll for be, me. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Right. I promise. No tears. No, no, I feel like I'm, I'm getting all this goosebumps. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> so, anyways, um, yeah, let's just go through the procedure and pray for me, guys. Oh my gosh. Shall we get? <laughs> All right, shall we go? Okay guys, I just want to show you how my buttocks look like. Like I told you guys, I'm a mother. I have so much stretch marks in my stomach, but this time we're just going to do my buttocks, my like some part of my thighs. So please, please um, don't be disgusted. Um, this is natural. I love myself and that's why I am doing this for myself. And I agreed with Jade. So yeah, this is how it looks like. So... I have some stretch marks over here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's all over here up to like my hips. And this is the side. I got stretch marks over there. And this is the side. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you guys see that? Yes, it's right there. Like I could see it. I could tell. But yeah, that's how it looks like. I'm sorry guys. Yes, I gotta show you that. And yeah, this is how it looks like. She's going to be working on those stretch marks and I'm super excited for the results and you know like after 60 days but yeah right now I'm super excited so yeah join mm -hmm. us. Okay so the next step is I need to match Erin's um, color, her mm -hmm. skin tone and so this essentially takes the longest part of our session and you want us to take our time obviously because this procedure is permanent. And so I'm gonna be testing out a different couple of color swatches. And when we do finally get to the last two, I'll have Aram give out her input um, and we'll both agree on a color and then we'll be ready to get started. All right, let's go. Okay. Do it. Um, and just curious, is this your normal skin tone, or do you usually go, do you like to go a little bit darker? Um, this is my skin tone. Like, I don't so really you don't wear tan? Or no. Hi everyone, so we just perfected Aram's color. It probably took us a good 40 minutes, yeah. um, but it's well worth it because it is permanent and again, I want to be able to camouflage the stretch marks and not make them more prominent. Um, so now that we have her color swatches all done, we are ready to begin treatment and the next step is to show her that we are using a um, concealed needle that hasn't been opened, so this is what the needle looks like. I always show my client that it's completely sealed, sealed um, and pop it in the machine and we are ready to go. So I am about to get the needles on my butt and I am super scared right now. We just um, got my pigments um, match, so yeah. Oh. Okay. 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 Ah, can you pinch it? <laughs> so I don't feel it. I feel like my body's contracting. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. On a scale of 1 to 10, what is it? It's like on a 6 or 7. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. I need to get used to this one because it's gonna take a little while. So. As I work towards the hour, it'll get less. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like, it, it reminds me of my mom pinching me all over again when I was a little kid. Yeah, because in the Philippines, it's, you know, like, that's how they do it. Like, when they get mad at us. Because we did something wrong, they just pinch us. So yeah, it feels like that. Yeah. 
it's bearable, but oh my gosh, it's just, you know, I gotta get used to it. It's just working right there. So, oh my gosh. Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Is it bleeding? It's a little bit, like, it's not like bleeding, but like mm -hmm. it's definitely like red. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how we know as like the artist that it's like working. Okay. Do you have any tattoos? Huh? Do you have any tattoos? No. So this is your first time? Yes, it is. So my husband is texting me right now and telling me be tough it's not that bad oh my gosh it hurts like i'm just telling you guys it hurts but i know this will will pay off really good so It feels like I'm getting electrocuted, you know, like at one very small spot. Like that's how it feels like. So, oh my gosh, are you doing good right there? She's doing great. She's doing great. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it hurts. Like my butt, like you know, like my muscle is like constantly like like trying to get hard. And, yeah, it's getting workout, and I'm gonna get nice muscles later. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. It's like red. Oh my goodness, look at that! <laughs> I'm excited though. I'm trying to get used to it, but I don't know. What's um, more painful is like when it's doing like inside, when she's doing like the inner part than the outer part. I don't know why, but yeah, it does hurt. Like it's burning, like that's how it feels like. Oh my gosh. 
So when I go lower and inner, you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like inside like my, my crack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it hurts <laughs> more. <laughs> Thank you.
right now I want to think like what did I get myself into <laughs> Like, I don't know, we're halfway maybe? Like, no, like maybe three fourths. Um, so that's how it looks like. like. Halfway on that one side. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my body's like con constantly contracting. Like, it's like muscle workout, guys. Oh my gosh. I hope it's okay. <laughs> so, that's how it looks like. Oh my gosh. Immediately after. Mm hmm. Scary, but um, I'm looking forward to the end process, you know, like the end result of this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going on my left butt shake now, and I know the pain is gonna be the same. Um, I showed you guys how it looks like over there earlier, and she's getting ready, and I need to get ready for this. My camera died, my battery, so I'm gonna be supplementing it with my phone, which is, you know, like I usually do for you guys. But, um, so, the, huh? Ready? Yeah. The quality of this video is gonna be a little bit different, but, um, I got all the lights on. <gasps> oh my gosh, it hurts more. Oh my gosh. Like she's really doing it really quick, but it hurts. Mm. Can't wait to get this done. So. Definitely the inner chick is more painful than anywhere else. But you know what guys, no pain, no gain. <laughs> That's what I tell you. I'm just trying to look forward to how it looks like right now. <sighs> oh my gosh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, for some reason, this left side is more painful than the other side. She said it's like that, so, like the other side is, you know, like more sensitive than the other side. So as it goes outward, my butt cheeks, um, it is, you know, like getting better. <laughs> it is painful, it hurts, but it's manageable. It's nothing like, you know, like I want to get off of here. Like I want to run away. It is good. She's doing pretty good on me and, you know, like she's making me more, you know, like comfortable here. And oh my gosh, I just cannot wait you know like till it's done like what I'm saying is like you know like that what's that <laughs> oh my gosh I can't even think but you know like oh my gosh that hurts that one <laughs> you know it hurts but you know like the outcome is definitely gonna be you know wonderful 
I'm pretty sure of that. So you guys need to check her out here in Gilbert just in case um, you guys live here in Arizona. Um, I'm gonna be putting the link for you guys on the description box and yeah, look at that. Yeah. I'm looking forward. <laughs> I think this is this is like the sexiest pose I could have over here, but yeah, I'm doing the cover up tattoo right now, so so when I first saw this on Facebook, I thought it wasn't real. I thought this um, artist is just putting um, concealer on the stretch marks and till jade contacted me about it and I was like oh my gosh this is real so I jumped onto that opportunity to do this to you know like better myself and so now I'm building it and like I cannot wait to see the final results of this of course for a little while it's gonna be like this um, all scratch up and you know like in time it will heal and it'll show the real color the swelling will go down um, in 24 hours so tomorrow the swelling won't be um, as drastic as it is right now mm -hmm. the redness will probably stay and then a week later it'll turn pink and then it'll turn dark brown light brown until um, 60 days when her full color the intended color comes out It is real. <laughs> now I know it is real. So all you mothers out there, not just the mothers, you know, like if you're not, even if you're not a mother and you want um, to change all that stretch marks, there's something that you can do about it. Because I tried all that creams before it didn't work for me. Um, yeah, so this is something, you know, like, that will actually work and like I said earlier no pain no gain so that's how it is um, the pa it's painful but it's nothing you know like you can't bear anymore it is it is very very bearable like I was scared but um, yeah I can bear it it's it's okay I am good although you know like you guys will see that I'm like I don't know, like squirming over here, but <laughs> yeah. So. And I will talk to you guys later and I'll show you how it looks like, you know, like when she's done. Um, my camera, I told you guys, um, turned off. So I'm just using my phone now, which I normally do. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so this is how it looks like on my left. Um, butt chick and yeah my gosh it looks like brutal but I am looking forward to when it's you know like it finally healed look at that oh my gosh like good thing I don't have anything going on um, like to show my body on anything or you know like a what do you call this runway or anything like that so I'm super excited. I know it looks like that, but can't wait. I cannot wait.
So you guys are seeing my um, tummy tuck surgery for that cut, but she can't do that because it's only been six months and she only does um, scar cover-ups if it's like at least two years, right? Yeah, they have to be at least two years yes. old. Yeah, they have to be at least two years old. To so. just ensure that it's completely healed um, because as it's healing, it can still change color. So that's why we... So we're living it right now. So she's just doing a minor, you know, like details now. So it's like, like here and there. So we're almost done. And yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, finally it's done. So we're just gonna take a photo like after. Like, no. It's like. Oh my gosh. It's done. <laughs> So she's just gonna put aquaphor on my area. <laughs> so yeah. So this is gonna help speed up the healing process for her. Mm -hmm. um, and then as for post care, she can't work out for a week. No saunas, no swimming pools. She can't shower tonight, but she can shower first thing in the morning and use soap and whatever she, you know, typically uses. Um, tonight she'll probably feel a little tender. What I've been told is it feels like you have a sunburn, mm -hmm. um, which is manageable again. And then as the days progress, I mean, she's already healing great. Um, so I'm pretty sure she'll be a fast healer. And then she'll have to ice the area twice a day and she'll mm -hmm. apply Aquaphor as well. Um, pretty much Aquaphor will be her best friend to really help um, with the wound healing process. So no bath for, for a week? Yeah, no bath for a week. All right, how does it feel right now? Um, it's, I, I guess, better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it feels better. It feels, I mean, I feel, it feel good after, you know, like getting all that tattoos and all that scraping and all that. But um, it's bearable, guys. So, you know, this is, you know, like no pain, no gain. And I am really looking forward to, you know, like the final outcome of this. And this will be the worst that it ever looks. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. It'll so, just start start getting better looking. I actually seeing, you know, like some of the swelling is are going down already. So yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure tomorrow is gonna be better. But um yeah. Um I'm gonna be posting like every two weeks guys because I don't want to bore you with you know like just pictures of my you know my tat every day. So it's gonna be like every two weeks. So yeah I am excited to go home now and my kids are gonna be, I don't know, asking me. But anyways, um, yeah, if you guys could follow her, Jade, on Instagram. Her Instagram is Studio Scalp. I'm gonna be putting um, the link on the description box for you guys. If you guys here in Arizona, I would recommend her to see her for a consultation. And do you wanna say your price and all that? Yeah, so we offer, or I offer free consultations. Um, if you're not here in town, I have people fly in so we can do a consultation virtually or in person if you'd like. Um, and then prices range anywhere between $750 to $1,500. Mm -hmm. We charge per area. And then it also depends on how deep your stretch marks are. And we base um, depth by um, if you were to pinch your stretch mark apart, um, does it spread You know, or does it get wider? Um, or does it relatively stay the same size? And so that's kind of how we measure depth. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah. Thank you so much You're for welcome. having me. And 
Oh my gosh, I am so very, super, super excited. So. Me too. Yeah, all right. So I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to be putting all the links for you guys all the, you know, the, on the description box. So yeah, I'm excited. Bye. Bye. get some stuff for my kids so yeah I'm totally fine and I can walk so that's how it is it's not really that you know like bad like there are some like little spots that it hurts but it's okay you know like I couldn't really feel it so I am super glad that I did it you know for now I just cannot wait till it's you know like fully healed so yeah So what I'm going to be doing now is, do I always look at the camera? <laughs> you can, you can, yeah. This is, this is like the sexiest pose I could have over here, but 